I operated on a child. I left him brain dead on life support. An hour later, it's all cleaned up, ready for the next patient. How does that make sense? It doesn't. So why did you come back? To tell you, I'm really sorry. When you were great during that procedure, you were steady as a rock. This failure's on me. There was no failure. Jake had a catastrophic head I'm injury. I'm trained to handle worst case scenarios, to think fast on my feet and make the best decisions. Patrick, you did all of that. Then why didn't it work? But he was already too hurt. He was too hurt for anyone to save, you know, even you. I've never lost a kid that young before. I mean, Elizabeth is our friend, Jake's. He's been over to the house to play with Emma. Look, all of us are grieving, okay? But I know, I know that we did everything we possibly could have done in here. Then why are you apologizing? I'm just so sorry for what I've done to you and to our family. I, I, I've, I've held on to your betrayal so tightly that it's tearing us apart. Well, you had the right. You've been apologizing to me for months. You know, the least I could have done was meet you halfway because I love you and I know that you love me. And if it was Emma that had died on the table tonight, I mean, I just, I couldn't have forgiven myself for all this time that I've wasted. So I'm really sorry. And we still haven't settled things with Lisa. It's so beside the point right now. All I want to do is go home and cuddle our little girl. Be grateful that she's healthy. It's amazing what we take for granted. Somebody loses a kid and it puts it into perspective, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, will you kiss that beautiful little girl goodnight for me? Hey. Why don't you kiss her goodnight? Can we come home? Please? I mean, we've wasted too much time as it is. Are you sure? The happiest I have ever been is when you and me and Emma were a family. And I want that again. Please. <laughs> I miss you. <laughs> I haven't been